Long Barrel Higher V0 What is often considered logical is not always so in practice. Welcome to a short video about the characteristics of barrel lengths in rimfire rifles. To show you some facts and figures, we have measured three identical Tika T1X in 22LR in three different barrel lengths for you. As barrel lengths, we have the standard 20-inch and 16-inch T1X, as well as a 14.5-inch version shortened by us. As ammunition, we use common supersonic and subsonic ammunition types that we had in stock and use ourselves. CSEI Subsonic HP, RWS Subsonic HP, SB Subsonic HP, RWS Club, and American Eagle. All these types of ammunition are quite accurate in the Tikas T1X. For hunting, the CCI Subsonic HP and the RWS Subsonic HP are among the favorites, as their accuracy and energy output are very good. Measurements were taken with a lab radar, and all ammunition was shot without a silencer to rule out possible deviations. About the values, CCI Subsonic HP, on average, the shortest barrel has a slight lead, but in real terms, all three were more or less the same. RWS Subsonic HP, the 16-inch and therefore medium barrel, is already measurably faster. The SB Subsonic HP, again the shortest barrel just ahead. RWS Club, the middle 16-inch barrel, is measurably ahead. And last but not least, the American Eagle, a touch of the 16-inch barrel, i.e. the middle barrel length in front. However, so close that we would rather call it a draw. So surprising. There is no real difference in the overall average. All barrel lengths are pretty much the same. A small note, for this test, we focused exclusively on the speed V0 values, not the accuracy or the spread circle determination of the individual ammunition. For this, we would definitely have to chemically clean the barrels between the different types of ammunition for a 22 LR, and ideally we would have to shoot 20 to 50 rounds in one type of ammunition so that it runs perfectly on its own lubricating film. But we can definitely say that all of these types of ammunition are accurate out of the guns. A short, spontaneous test on an alternative target also confirms the accuracy. Conclusion. Should you now buy your 16 or 20 inch or even a 14 inch or have your gun shortened? The answer, as so often is, everyone as they like. How important is efficiency, implementation, or appearance to you? Do you like us prefer to shoot subsonic or faster loads? This video is only intended to inform you that things are often different in reality than they are told at the table. By the way, I opted for 14.5 inches. Who can resist this baby? If you are looking for something exactly like this, you can find all the information on our homepage, ggs1.de or simply send us an email.